Boss, boss. <laughs> By nine o'clock, they're ready for their second beer. Joe drinks up to 16 cans a day. Paddy, 24. That's a whole tray of super strength lager. <coughs> but the last place they slept together before moving into the night shelter was the pits. Sleeping here, I felt like the lowest of the low. Paddy's woken up in the middle of the night and I've been lying next to him in tears. That's how bad it got. She said uh, mice are running along the, along the quilts and that, you know what I mean? I've never felt so dirty. Get up And so thing. disgusting in all my life. I think what makes it worse, we haven't got a choice, so we know we've got nothing to do but wander about from place to place and hope and pray that we don't keep getting moved on, because the minute we do find somewhere to stand under cover, chances are we'll get moved on. And then it's like, well, where now? Where do we go? And as Joe predicts, it isn't long before they moved on again. Even though they don't have a home yet, they're already making plans for the future. That's the sort of table and chairs I'd like in, in, in my kitchen. Yeah, but... If I had a kitchen, <laughs> it'd be nice. Yeah, if the table, though, was a bit bigger, innit? it? If the table was a bit bigger, yeah, but it'd be nice. When you live on the street, you find out a lot more, a lot faster about one another than you ever would do if you were living indoors, right? You know, because we know one another's weakness. We know one another's strengths, and... When the weak points come, we both know how to handle it. And when our stronger sides come out, we both know how to handle that as well. 